Hey there, welcome to Tech Explained. Today we're diving into something that's super important if you care about keeping your systems and data safe, the NIST Cybersecurity Framework. Now I know what you're thinking, that sounds really technical, but stick with me because I'm gonna break it down in a way that makes sense and shows why it's a big deal for anyone, whether you're running a business or just trying to protect yourself online. So let's start with what this framework actually is. Think of it as a guide, an adaptable, flexible roadmap for managing cybersecurity risks. It's not a one-size-fits-all thing. It's designed to help organizations of any size figure out how to better protect themselves from cyber threats. The framework is built around five core actions. Identify, protect, respond, and recover. These aren't just random steps. They're everything you need to stay safe in today's digital world. The first step is to identify what you're working with. This is about understanding what you have and where your risks are. You can't protect what you don't know about, right? Right. So this step is like taking inventory. What devices, data, and systems are you using? What could go wrong if they were compromised? It's also about understanding the rules and governance you need to follow. For example, if you handle customer data, what are the risks and responsibilities tied to that? This sets the foundation for everything else. Once you know what you're dealing with, it's time to protect it. This is where you lock things down. Think about things like who has access to your systems, how your data is secured, and whether your team is trained to recognize cyber threats. It's also about using the right tools, firewalls, encryption, backups, whatever it takes, to make sure your systems are as secure as possible. You're not eliminating risk entirely, but you're making it a lot harder for attackers to get in. Now, let's be real for a second. No system is completely foolproof. That's why you need to be able to detect when something goes wrong. This is about setting up systems to monitor for unusual activity. Is there a login attempt from a strange location? Are files being accessed in ways that don't make sense? This kind of detection is critical because the sooner you know something's off, the faster you can do something about it. And in cybersecurity, speed can make all the difference. All right, now let's talk about responding when something does go wrong. Even with the best defenses, incidents happen. When they do, you need a clear plan. Who's gonna take charge? What's the first step? How do you stop the damage? And importantly, how do you communicate with your team, your customers, or anyone else affected? Having this planned out ahead of time can turn a potentially chaotic situation into something manageable. And finally, we've got recovery. This is about getting back on your feet after an attack. It's not just about restoring your systems, but also learning from what happened, what worked, what didn't. How can you improve for the future? Recovery also means communicating, letting people know that things are under control and you're taking steps to, from happening again. What's great about this framework is that it's not just for IT teams or cybersecurity experts. It's something everyone in an organization can rally around. It's practical, it's clear, and it's flexible enough to adapt to whatever your specific needs are. And honestly, even if you're not running a company, understanding these steps can help you make smarter choices for your own personal digital safety. So that's the NIST cybersecurity framework in a nutshell. It's not just about technology. It's about having the right mindset and approach to protect what matters most. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to Tech Explained for more breakdowns like this. And if you've got questions or ideas for future topics, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for hanging out. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.